hello everyone and welcome back to my channel once again so today is day three of christmas elements and today i'm going to show you how we can create gift boxes so in the previous video we have learned how we can draw all these christmas trees with very simple steps and in the last video i have shown you how we can draw all these gift ribbons so we are going to utilize all these gift ribbon in today's video as well and i'm using this drawing sheet you can use normal sheet as well because we are only drawing so no need of a watercolor sheet or something like that but the only difference is i have created all these lines in equal distance so that i can get some precision in my boxes but it's not necessary once you know the rules to draw all these things you can do it easily uh, keeping all these lines intact you can create your boxes in a more precise way so let's start with today's video i'm using needle pen to draw all these uh, gift boxes but you can use normal pencil also and uh, you can use normal ball pen also so the first rule is how much length and how much width you need for your boxes so depend on the length and the width you can create your horizontal line and vertical line to create a box so either you can keep box smaller like a cube kind of structure or else you can keep your boxes little bigger in the width like a rectangle or else you can keep your boxes longer in size uh, wherein you need little longer lines to create all these boxes and these are the basic boxes which anyone can uh, do right so we just need to create boxes like these having different different sizes so this is the rule number one like how much width and how much length you needed now rule number two is the cap of the gift boxes which is important to learn right so what you need to do to create caps is you need to create two small small lines outer to the boxes right so i'm creating these two line just a little bit outer side and then you can repeat the same thing for all three and then combine these things together to create something like this so once you join all these lines so you will get one middle line from the box which is fine we are going to hide those lines with some shading and detailing but now you can see these boxes are looking more natural but these boxes does not have any perspective as of now these are simple and easy for beginners you just need to define your cap and you can create some boxes like this you can do some extra shading you can create some ribbons and you can decorate your boxes with some a uh, decorative item and all those things to beautify all these things but these boxes do not have any perspective as of now right so in the first one i have created bow in the second one i am just using ribbons and in the third one i am creating all these stars to make some texture around these boxes these things are optional but if you add all these things it's better now rule number 3 is different perspective of all these boxes which is very very important to learn so again rule number 1 is defining your size of the boxes rule number 2 is defining your caps rule number 3 is defining perspective for all these boxes so for the perspective you need to define your uh, basic uh, size of the box first so i'm going to show you three different perspective so i'm creating three different sections having similar kind of width in it let's start with the first perspective so for the first perspective this is uh, the area of the box which i have defined for myself and you need to create one center point between two points and create lines little bit above to the line so we have three points here right so i'm creating two lines and all three points are attached with each other you can see the two lines are little bit tilted and towards upward direction so something like this you need to do and then create three uh, vertical line 
these three lines are similar in length but one is but middle one is little bit on the lower side because of center point so as you can see the lines are little bit tilted towards upper direction so that's why the center point is in the line itself so you will get the middle line little bit smaller so this is the basic structure now for the second one i'm keeping the center point little bit on the left side so as you can see one line is longer and another line is shorter and then again create three lines in a vertical direction keeping the middle line little smaller now for the third one i'm keeping the center point little towards right side so that we will get little longer line on the left side and smaller line on the right side so all these perspective are different from each other because of center point so make sure you are creating your center point in different different position so that you will get different different perspective now again we need to create caps again caps are important and caps perspective is also important so i am attaching all these three lines together with some horizontal line and the middle line is smaller so you will get something like this little bit tilted right so based on your center line you are going to create your caps so your caps length is also depend on the distance of middle line and the left line and right line so you will get something like this now rule number 4 is defining the center part for the caps also so this one is simple like wherein we have created simple caps but this one is little different so for the first perspective because the center line is in the center so the caps point is also towards the center only and then attach left line and right line together with the center point of the cap now for the second one because the center point of the box is towards the left side so the center point of the cap should be towards on the right side just opposite to the box uh, center point so basically the center point should be in opposite direction so if your box center point is towards left you need to create your cap center point towards the right side and vice versa so you will get some perspective like these and now you can see the whole different perspective for these three right now you can add some decorative item uh, i have already shown you how we can create all these ribbons different types of ribbon in my previous video so if you want to learn all those things you can refer to my previous video i can give you a link into my description section i am adding these ribbons in each and every boxes that we have and then you can define some extra detailing uh, using sketching techniques like cross hatching or contouring to create some dark shades and light shades into your boxes to beautify all these things i'm also sketching the box area a little bit just to beautify and same thing you can repeat for all the three boxes that we have and same rule applies for different sizes as well like if you have bigger box having rectangle size then also the rules are same if you have longer box then also you have same rules to create all these perspective so you can create different different perspective for different different sizes now let me show you one with little bigger in width and one little bigger in length so i'm showing you only one perspective but you can create multiple based on your center point so i'm keeping the center point for the first one towards the left side and i'm keeping the center point for the second one towards the right side so the first one is of more rectangle kind of structure the rules are same 
we need to create some tilted horizontal line and then we need to create vertical lines based on the size so i'm keeping the second one longer and first one a uh, little bigger on width and then you can define your caps little bit extended same thing you can repeat for the other boxes as well basically these perspective are important when you have boxes but if you have some other kind of structure like cylindrical or anything like that then you might not need all these perspective so i'm more focusing on uh, showing perspective for these boxes only so something like this you can do for your greeting card or any miscellaneous item for your christmas just draw all these christmas items like ribbons boxes candles christmas tree together in a single card and paint with some acrylic or watercolor whatever you like to paint and create your own stuff i think it's very important to learn all these elements if you are interested in doing some greeting cards or something like that now in this one i'm keeping the bow not in the top of the box but in the side and then you can add ribbons as well if you want to so all these things are optional but these are gift boxes so it should look like a gift so you can do all these additional stuff and then you can do some extra shading contouring cross hatching all those stuff my lines are with the help of pencil so i can rub all these pencil lines as well and we can see only boxes i prefer to create all these lines before doing these things because then you will get more precise boxes otherwise you might end up having in loose boxes with you but you can understand the rules and definitions to create all these boxes right now let me show you one more like one box about to the another so i have created this particular box you don't need to know how i have created it because you have already uh, understand what what needs to be done the second thing what i'm doing is i'm following the same rule but i'm creating little smaller box at the top of the first box right so you can create multiple boxes one after another like this keeping uh one box bigger and another box smaller rules are same i'm following the same rules and pattern but i'm creating two boxes one after another that's the only difference so you can arrange all these boxes like this and then you can do some extra shading and detailing which is needed if you are only interested in drawing so you can highlight the caps you can highlight the ribbons or you can do some extra shading and detailing so these all are boxes you can do the same thing for simple one as well like creating one after another now let me show you two having different shape so this one is more of a cylindrical kind of structure so you need to create an oval kind of structure like this and then create some vertical lines depend on how much length you need and create the baseline thus much is enough uh, we can add some ribbons at the top and details of the ribbon you can also do like gift bags like this keeping some zigzag pattern and then keep one ribbon in the center something like this so these two are very simple but i think very interesting now i'm tracing everything with the help of pen and doing some extra shading and detailing see these two are very simple but you don't need different perspective for these kind of uh, gift boxes now you can add some extra shading at the base of these boxes to add shadows in it so i'm repeating the same thing for all the boxes that we have and we are done with today's video hope this video is helpful for you guys please do let me know if you have any kind of queries and question or feedback for me 
thank you so much for supporting my videos and watching my videos see you guys in the next video with some other elements for christmas